Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, and today I'm doing my SeaWorld story, and first I thought I'd introduce you to Junior. This is one of our birds from a bird place, and he was a plucker because he's been at four different homes, and he is a spectacular animal. He barks like a dog, as you can tell. He thinks the camera is very interesting. <laughs> so yes, this is Junior. He's 12 years old, and he is a black-headed kaiyuk. So let's get started with the video. So, hi, I'm Kaylin Williams, and this is my SeaWorld story. So I first visited SeaWorld in 2006 when I was about seven years old, and that's where the passion really sparked. I don't remember much about it. I remember that I saw the Believe show and the um, Viva show with the dolphins, and I was that young, so I don't even really remember that much. Uh, I didn't go back again until 2012, and that's when I decided I wanted to be a SeaWorld trainer. At the end of a One Ocean show, Kaika pulled himself up on the slide out. I looked him right in his big blue eyes, and I knew this is exactly what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. We didn't go back again until around 2013, and sadly, all the pictures were wiped off my mom's phone when she got a new one, so I don't have any pictures to show you. I apologize. Um, but then for Christmas, my mom got her and I and her best friend, who always goes with us, Allison, you may see in a few of the pictures, uh, she got us annual passes for SeaWorld and Aquatica, so we go maybe once every other month or once every two or three months, and I get to go a lot more now, and it makes me really happy. I went back to SeaWorld San Antonio in Ju on July 29th, 2014, and I went with my grandpa, we brought him along, and I got to meet Chuck Corot, I got to participate in a target pool training session and reward the dolphins. I got a picture with him and the dolphins. It was a really marvelous day. The same day, I also got called up in Canary Row Caper to touch the sea lion. Amazing. Um, I was so beyond happy that day. And I also got to meet Doug and Laura at Shamu Stadium. I went back in October, or on October 18th, 2014, I believe, and that's where I got to meet at underscore SeaWorld underscore support underscore, or Emmy, and I also got to meet Shamu trainer Emily Wolf, and her Instagram name right here. Um, I also got to experience my very first hollow scream, and I cried because I got so scared, and I don't like scary things, and I wasn't expecting it to be so scary. <laughs> it was very scary. Um, I also participated in the penguin tour, so that was really awesome. I got to meet Jenny the penguin. She was two years old and she's a rock hopper penguin. My mom thought it was going to be super lame, but now she really wants to do the interaction program. We got to go to up to the gate inside the exhibit, and it was really cool to get to hear everything and actually get the smell and to feel how cold it actually was in there. So that was really fun. Uh, and I also met Casey as well at the Shamu's Rock and Creep Show show. Shamu's Rock and Creep Show. Uh, I went again in December, and I think it was December 6th, December 6th, because it was on Kamea's birthday, and I participated in the Dolphin Touch program with Donnelly, which was an amazing experience. It was eight or so minutes. Um, then we also participated in the Beluga Tour, where I got to meet Emac from the land, so I got to, you know, dry work meet Emac, and we got to rub his melon. And I met my favorite trainer, Kristen, and she is still there, and she even remembers me, which is really cool. Um, so I got to go backstage for the first time, and that was cool. I've been back there three times since. Uh, I went again in, on February 21st, 2014, and that was one of the best days of my entire life. I participated in the Beluga Interaction Program with Emac and Natasha, and then the two trainers, Kristen and Nicole. This was the day that the very first trainer ever had recognized me. Kristen said, uh, you've done this before, haven't you? I was like, uh, I did Beluga Tour with you back in December, and she's like, oh yeah, you're the one that wants to be a trainer, right? I was like, yeah, and she's like, Kaylin. I was like, yeah. So it was really cool to get her, uh, to recognize me, and it was kind of like a starstruck moment, like, 
I finally made it, guys. Um, and then I also got to see the Generation Nature Live show where I got to be like three, four inches away from Benny Irwin. I was fangirling so hard. Just ask, just ask Allison and my mom. I was fangirling so hard. Um, she was literally like right on the walkway right next to me. It was so cool. Um, and I also got to meet Animal Ambassador Clay, who was walking down the stage with a porcupine, which was really cool. Um, I returned again in on June 27th, 2014, 2015 most recently. Well, it was two, February 21st, 2015, and then <laughs> June 27th, 2015. So most recently, June 27th, 2015, I participated in the Sea Lion Interaction Program and the Diamond Shamu Program with at underscore SeaWorld underscore support underscore or Emmy and it was a really amazing day. I got to do my sea lion interaction program with Digit and Dylan. Dylan is a spectacular animal and Digit just cousin wasn't quite interested in what we were doing but here are some of those pictures and just so you know, just so you know, I am going to be posting my sea lion interaction program very soon so you'll get to see that. Um, we didn't get to do that many things just because it was a larger group of people. There was like seven to nine people that were doing our interaction group. So, I mean, it was still great. <laughs> so, amongst all of this, I wrote seven SeaWorld-related articles for CentralFloridaTop5.com. And I also wrote an article for former Killowell trainer, Kyle Kittleson's website, MarineMammalTrainer.com. I also got to interview author of Killing Keiko, uh, I guess you could say, like, interviewee in Blackfish and former SeaWorld trainer of like 23 years, a long time, uh, Mark Simmons. And I also got to interview former SeaWorld San Antonio trainer, Bridget Pirtle Davis, which we were also, our article, the interview, was mentioned and written about on the Awesome Ocean website, which was really crazy. I never thought that I would be on that website. It was really interesting. Big question time. So what am I doing right now to better my chances of becoming a SeaWorld trainer in the future? Well, I'm, d I'm doing any SeaWorld interaction program that I can. So I'm doing different interactions, tours, and I'm also participating in the career camp program in August, which is really exciting. I am talking to different trainers to get their insight on what I should do and what I shouldn't do. When it comes to being a trainer, I'm practicing swimming, practicing my breath holds. I'm an FFA officer and I'm also the president of my own club that I created around SeaWorld and just animal conservation like with wildlife, uh, the World Wildlife Fund and ASPCA and all these different organizations, sorry, phone, um, all these different organizations and it's called Animal Ambassadors and I created it at my own school with my best friend Destiny and we are going to do that club which is really great. Um, I am the assistant manager of avian care at a bird's place for the rescue birds. So I cut fruit, I rotate interaction times, I make sure they have fresh water every single day, they can give baths, um, make sure that the birds get their medicine or whatever they need, and it's a really fun job. I'm also a volunteer at my local animal shelter with my best friend Destiny, and I am a dog trainer, bird trainer. And I'm doing my best to keep my community, the beaches, and the environment clean to keep this world a beautiful place. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Have a whale of a day. Bye, guys.